once upon a time, back before I knew how to tie my shoes, the sun came up. Now I know an everyday sunrise may not seem like such a big deal to some folks, but imagine for a moment if instead of rising up like this, one morning where you lived, she took a look around and decided to go back to sleep. It happened once to us. Let me tell you all about it. This was our rooster, Chanticleer. And though it was true that he liked the horse around some, fact was, that boy could sing. Sun to shine, sun to shine, sun to shine. Well, my daddy taught me how to sing, and that's why this sports means everything. Sun We all had our jobs on the farm, and Chanticleer's was to wake up the sun. And when he crowed, up she came. Hey, look, here's me tying my shoes. Hi, Patu. What you doing? I'm trying to tie these doggone shoes. <laughs> Again? Well, hi, lady. Oh, he's so handsome. He sings like a dream. He's a dream. And he's single, too. <laughs> he maybe wasn't the smartest bird that ever lived, but when he crowed, there was plenty of peace and harmony. Hey! Well, plenty of harmony anyway, and lots of sunshine. Well, my daddy taught me how to sing, and that's why this force means everything. Sun do shine, you better shine. Well, the sun do shine, you better shine. 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 So you better shine. <laughs> there was no doubt about it. Old Chanticleer kept us animals up and shining. Good day, Mr. Chanticleer. But all that was about to change. One morning, before Chanticleer was even awake, hey, Chanticleer. a stranger snuck onto our farm to stop Chanticleer from crowing. Of course, Chanticleer wouldn't give up without a fight. But what he didn't know was that this stranger had been sent by the Grand Duke of Owls. A nasty fellow. Mm. 